Look at that, people. I was not expecting to have blood work done at my pre-op appointment. I needed to be mentally prepared for that. That's what it looks like people it's a hospital and today is my pre-op appointment with the hospital and the doctor hi people okay as you can see from the title of this vlog that mama is having surgery so it's it's almost like how many how much detail do I want to go into um, so I have had several growths in my uterus and it is caused starting it or it has been causing a lot of complications. So it is time to get those fibroids taken out along with the uterus because if they don't well one is like a at least one is like attached to the uterus anyway, but if they don't take the uterus out just more are going to grow and they're also going to take the fallopian tubes out because in the last five years she says that basically research has proved that ovarian cancer actually starts in the tubes and then moves to the ovaries so my ovaries will stay thank goodness don't want to mess up too much with the hormones um but it's very you know, I, I just got out all my pre-op appointments, and I, the hospital appointment was first, and then the doctor's office, and then the nurse saw us filling out some paperwork, and then she made me sign this thing stating that I knew I was going to become sterile. Well, and that was like this slap in the face. It, it was just like I hit a wall. Like, obviously, I know my uterus is being taken out, and I know I'm not going to have any more kids. But to be called sterile was just, I don't know, it was just so eye-opening and, and it's such a mean word. It's such a mean word. Even though, you know, like I said, I know that, you know, there's, the uterus is going to be gone. But So, um, a little, a little nervous just because of anesthesia with, um, um, Lakeland's you know, my last C-section, um, I didn't do very well with anesthesia. So, a little nervous about that. Um, and a little tidbit, background history with me is I have, all three of my kids were um, done by C-section because in my 20s I had had a hip injury, which kind of um, just, my pelvis is aligned weird because of that hip injury and because of that it was just like Langley couldn't like come through so oh my god I think I just spit at you guys <laughs> that's because I think just talking about the surgery is just like oh, just making me nervous and, and stuff like that but anyway this surgery is Wednesday April 5th um, today is Tuesday the 28th and I think I will be posting this most likely tomorrow, so about a week before the surgery. And hopefully, um, and here's the other thing, I know some hysterectomies, um, just like on elementary terms, they kind of like just pull it out. <laughs> um, unfortunately, with my three C-sections, that's probably not going to happen. They're probably going to have to open me back up and basically have another C-section. They are going to look um you know first when they get in there they're gonna look and and see if they could possibly do it the simpler way which if that's the case i'll only have most likely one night at the hospital but if they do have to cut me open and take it out that way then it'll be two nights at the hospital and right now kids under 18 are not allowed in the hospital because of flu um which really sucks that the kids wouldn't be a oh i'm just really disappointed um, she said there's a possibility Langley can because Langley's almost 18 so we'll see but 
you know, it's a definite that Lakeland's not going to be able to come visit me in the hospital, which is just going to totally break his heart. It's going to break my heart, too. But maybe that's a good thing, because sometimes you don't want your kids, like, to just see you in a hospital, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> um, so, anyway, that is the story. I would love to hear um, comments from other women that have had this done. I've already went through, I'm trying not to tear up now. I've already went through the emotional part of, oh my gosh, this is, my womanhood is going to be gone. So I've kind of went through that. Now it's more just the nervousness of, you know, an operation, you know, and the nervousness of being um, put under and hopefully waking up like I'm supposed to. So anyway, that... Um, that is it, people. That is, um, uh, that's the story. And hopefully, um, it, hopefully you follow us on Instagram. I will definitely, um, be posting things on Instagram that you can keep up with us. You can keep up with what's happening. Um, Tom will be vlogging. I've told him, I don't care how bad I'm out of it, how bad I look, but you vlog me when I get back from recovery because I want to see how I am, because that's not like I'm going to remember. I'm going to be so groggy. They said it'll be about an hour in, hour in recovery, and then they'll take me up to the room, and then Tom and my mom should already be in the room, so I want him to vlog that, and oh my God, I'm going to look so bad, but I, I want to know. I want to know myself on, on how I was and, and that type of thing. That's the great thing about vlogging is I, sometimes we like when I edit our vacation vlogs, our Disney vlogs, and I'm editing, I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot that happened. So it's a nice way to remember the little things that your mind, just daily life, just erases from your mind. So that's really great. So please follow us on Instagram. I think it's just, you know, look up Life's a Whirlwind and you should find us. And now on to something a little more interesting. Oh, look at, look, 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 check it out. That is cool, people. So cool. Mm -hmm cotton balls and aluminum foil and yeah I question quite often what teenagers do but this takes the cake she wants me to scrunch her nails yeah why why am I supposed to like squeeze your nails so the cotton ball the cotton balls have nail polish oh there's a cotton them. ball in there. yeah and so it's taking off the acrylic nails but I have to sit here with them for 20 minutes and to make sure that they actually stay. So somebody's supposed to squish the cotton ball onto the nails. Well, I mean, just tighten up the tin foil on the cotton ball. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just something about... Where did you learn this from? On the internet. <laughs> Because you gotta believe everything on, that's on the internet. Well, I had to take them <laughs> off. They were getting in my way for dance <laughs> and typing. That looks funny. We were comparing passports because Skylin just got her passport. So I wanted to show her mine. So Tom pulls out his passports. So Skylin, I'm gonna let you see this. So this is one, I can't show it. This is one that he got well, can, can you in 98 and expired in 08. And, and what is your opinion? I want to look again. Who was that? Exactly. No, wait. It gets better. Why is it like, it's like an actual picture is like. Well, it's different back then. You got to think that's from 1998. Disney, the passport looks different see? and everything. Okay, so no. but here's the other one. This one is from 1986. Please don't cover your face when we want to see your true reaction to Tom's picture. You covered your face! Who is that? <laughs> Jimmy doesn't like it either. That makes me uncomfy. <laughs> Why does he look like that? First, we're going to show you mine. That's only from 2011, so that's not too long ago. You look so weird. Why? Other than the blonde hair. Because of the blonde hair. Yeah. Okay, so now... Wait, when was this one from? 2011. Did I know you then? Yeah. Yes, you did. Okay, and... Let me see. So this one's first. This is your dad in 98. 
I was like, it doesn't even look like you. What do you think? Have you seen that one before, do you think? No, I haven't seen this one before. Okay, but it gets better. So weird. 86. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Look at his glasses. <laughs> I haven't seen the passport, but I've seen the... Uh... Um, pictures like that of him. Well, you, of that time. See, I've never seen anything from that time period. So, but you should go through all the, like, rolls of my grandparents' um, pictures. Because there's a lot of good ones like, like this that. Like that. But I was like, wow, that just doesn't... I mean, this one is different because, you know, he doesn't have a goatee. So, that, it makes a huge difference him not having Well, I remember him like that, too, so... Well, yeah, there was a time period, I think. Yeah, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> This is typical 70s movie flashback right here. <laughs> well, not 70s because it's 86. But yeah, that just looks nothing other than the color of hair. That just does not look like Tom. It looks like I belong. What movie is that? Revenge uh, of the Nerds. Oh, thanks, dear. <laughs> now, there's some movie with one of them, like. The kids. There's one of them movies with one of those hot guys you like in it. And it was a uh, very 70s looking and... Oh, man. I 70s with one of the hot guys in it? Yeah, yeah. Somebody who, if they showed up in the movie, you'd watch it regardless if it was bad or not. <laughs> um, I don't know. That could be many people. <laughs> That could be Patrick Dempsey. That could be Bradley Cooper. That could be Richard Dean Anderson from MacGyver. No, no, I don't. <laughs> um, um, maybe a Bradley Cooper type of thing. He had like an afro and, 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 and the like shaded glasses. Oh, there was a movie with Bradley Cooper that he played um, with um, the girl from Hunger Games. Is that the one you're talking about? I think he was in an afro then, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was... You know, in, intentionally dated looking, and I—that's my movie. <laughs> Why are you whining at me? Why can you say hi to everyone? Oh, he's very excited to tell. Oh, he sneezed on my face. He's very excited to tell you guys hi. What do you want? Do you want something? What do you want something? Now, tell me what you want. <laughs> Tell me what you want. He's going towards his food dish, by the way, people. Do you want food? Tell me you want food. <laughs> I guess he told me. That's as close as you're going to get to the word food, I'm afraid. <laughs>